China has been actively working towards establishing supremacy on Earth and in space beyond. Since Mars is the planet with the closest similarities to Earth, they decided to join the quest of taking over Mars, since they have the means necessary to put the plan in motion. They've been making a dedicated effort and putting in all the resources together to ensure a speedy arrival in Mars. They've launched their most ambitious space mission, consisting of a rover, lander, and orbiter loaded into a massive space rocket, which is already in Mars's orbit. The vessel called the Tainwen-1 leads the mission and it will assist in preparing for human exploration of the planet. To get more information about how China plans to take over Mars, watch this video until the end and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet. The recent Chinese Mars missions took around 7 months to reach the Red Planet. Once the rocket got close to Mars, it started to release the orbiter to take a scan of Mars and map it. The lander will then carry the rover to the surface of the planet. Once China is able to successfully complete this mission, they will become the second nation on Earth to place a robot on the surface of Mars. It will surely be an important achievement for a country looking to become a superior power both on a global and universal scale. China's rivalry with the US could be a major propellant for the race to Mars. The Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping is pushing to establish China as a conquering superpower in space. China seems to believe that if they don't get there first, then they won't be able to get there again, even if they want to. According to a senior aerospace engineer and the head of China's lunar exploration program, Ye Piejian, if others go there, then they will take over and you will not be able to go even if you want to. This reason is enough. He also said, if we do not go there now even though we can, then we will be blamed by our descendants. Which leads us to believe that if they intend to get to the Red Planet first, and take it over at all costs, then how are they going to do it? Well, there's other reasons why a trek to Mars would greatly benefit China. Apart from the political games, one of these is economical benefits. Telecom companies, navigational satellites, and weather systems would stand to gain a lot from this. It seems that China is really making plans to be a superpower in space, even though the details of the funding for this mission is not so clear. It is known that Beijing set aside about $8 billion for the China National Space Administration. This amount spent just follows closely behind that budgeted in the United States for NASA. It is certain that the amount being released for space purposes have increased as the nation has already got rovers moving on the moon. It is also very likely that the core module of their space station will be sent to the low Earth orbit later this year. The setup for a crewed lunar mission is already underway as they also want to build a base near the lunar south pole. The Tainwen-1 rover is designed to find carbon-containing molecules which may suggest past Martian life and also get dust samples and dirt samples for scientific research and analysis. If the Tainwen-1 mission pulls through, Xi Jinping would have achieved a significant feat in his party, and this would justify his decree to remain president for life. All forms of space exploration are inspiring to everyone, and this would give the Chinese people more bragging rights when they get to look across the sky and watch their own rocket fly to Mars. But these efforts to go into space actually just became a conquest to take over the world, and all space as we know it. It is impossible not to notice that there is brewing tension between China and the US, and these space programs might just be similar to what went down between the US and the Soviet Union. China and the United States have had a tug of war of some sorts. The Chinese military is already projecting its power into new territories globally. They're attempting to grate against known American strongholds, such as parts of Asia and the Middle East. The tech companies of both sides of the planet are outdoing each other in terms of funds and innovations. The standoff between both countries seem to be multi-layered, and may even be reaching beyond the stars. Even more proof that China is looking to take over at all costs lies in the South China Sea. In mid-July of last year, the US formally opposed China's claim to almost all the waters of the South China Sea. The South China Sea is one of the busiest waterways in the world, which is very rich in natural resources. Many countries lay claim to this maritime area. They conduct military patrols around it very often. This dispute, as regarded by analysis, could be the tipping point for a military conflict. The Chinese Air Force conducted some live-fire drills around the coast of the South China Sea as a response to the drills and freedom of navigation operations of the US Navy. Even though these tensions seem to have calmed, it is still being reported that China is building artificial islands and military facilities in some parts of the South China Sea, which is not going well with other countries that also lay claim to the area. China claims that they have a large expanse of the sea within their 9-dash line. 
This area covers about 2,000 kilometers from Chinese mainland, which is close to Indonesia and Malaysia. Military facilities and artificial islands with stationed troops have already built in the area, and China claims that they only have peaceful intentions. This area is being contested due to the fact that it's a key commercial waterway which connects Asia to Europe and Africa. It is also believed to be endowed with oil and natural gas reserves. About 30% of global shipping goes through the South China Sea annually, which includes 80% of oil imported by China, who is the second largest consumer of oil on the planet. These disputed waterways are also known to be a heaven for fishing, as one tenth of all the fish caught globally come from there. So the South China Sea is not only a good passage for national ships, but it's also the center for natural resources and food. The United States says that China's claim to many of the offshore resources across a large portion of the South China Seas are unlawful. To this effect, they have increased their military presence in the area to try and monitor the activities of China's military. These squabbles on Earth could very well be the reason that China is gunning to go to Mars, and probably also lay claim to the planet too. They may be taking the US rivalry to space. The Chinese space agency Tainwen-1 mission is the most ambitious project that they have undergone, and they're looking to keep up with NASA as they revolutionize their technological prowess. The Chinese scientists already have enough company as they are looking at the Huaoxing, also known as the Fire Star in Mandarin language, which is about 39 million miles away. Apart from China, the US, Europe, Russia, and the UAE are also undertaking robotic missions to the Red Planet. The probes are meant to give scientists information as to whether people will be able to live on Mars, since it's the most similar planet to Earth. With these missions in place, the human exploration of the planet is closer than ever. According to a strategy published in 2016 by the Chinese State Council, China aims to return the samples from Mars in 2028, and on to Jupiter after a couple of years. These actions may not be completely just for the science. They may simply be political statements from Xi Jinping to showcase China's supremacy. Xi is making a blueprint that will transform China into a superpower in the manufacturing of aerospace technology in 2025. The founder of the Hong Kong Aerospace Society, Peter Liu, stated that China can get a lot of economic advantages from aerospace technology. He added that Chinese makers of telecom equipment, navigational satellites, and weather observation systems will be among those to get a boost from the results of the Chinese operations in space. To increase public support, a Chinese company built a simulation center for Mars which was hosted as a reality TV show. In November 2020, the space agency was able to complete an obstacle avoidance test near Beijing. This was carried out with a probe separating from a spacecraft at a height of 70 meters, and started its descent slowly towards the surface. The Taiwan is now in the orbit of Mars, after landing successfully in February 2021. This has now made China the sixth spacefaring power to reach the Red Planet. The Chinese probe arrived just a day after the Hope Orbiter of the United Arab Emirates entered Mars's orbit. After the seven months journey, the spacecraft settled into an orbit that brought it within 248 miles from the planet's surface. From there, it will be able to survey the landing site at the Utopia Plantia region. The lander and rover are expected to detach from the spacecraft in May and then risk a landing on Utopia Planitia region. This region has a large deposit of water ice laying beneath the surface of Mars. With both the rover and the orbiter, China will be able to trace the distribution of water ice in the subsurface so they can understand the geologic structure of the Red Planet better. If the lander and rover land successfully, China is going to become the second country to land and operate a rover on Mars after the United States. China is making giant strides with space exploration as the country also went to the moon and back with the Chang'e 5 sample return mission, while the Tainwen 1 was well on its way to Mars. This moon trek was the fifth mission in China's lunar exploration program and was the first mission to transport lunar dirt to Earth. The Chinese mission to Mars is one of the most complex missions ever, and if China is able to pull this off, their space program would certainly be on the top spot in space exploration rankings. Thanks for watching, and while you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!